Hello and welcome to Crumbs One Gaming. Today we will be playing some transport fever and I will show you how to make plenty of cash and repay our debt in around four to five years time. The trick is to find an industrial route where we transport full loads with goods back and forth and try to avoid running empty trains during long distances. What we are looking for is, th this is a good example, we have logs, we ship logs to a plank factory, we ship planks to a tools factory and we ship tools here. Uh, we could have a good route here where we, we start to deliver, uh, deliver this, we continue to drop off and pick up and go down here and then we'll be running an empty train up one way. So that is not as good as we could hope for, but this is a better route. So we ship crude oil all the way down to the oil refinery. We pick up refined oil, deliver it back up to the fuel refinery, and then we'll ship fuel into Gothenburg. And we could probably even hook up a port here and ship oil up to Oslo. Uh, sorry, ship fuel up to Oslo. Yeah, we start with building a track here with three stations and then we deliver the fuel to town by horse. So we're back in 1850 and it's really hard to make money at that time but I will show you how to make plenty in just a couple of years. So uh, let's start. So I think yeah 160 meters is totally fine. Let's add a little bit away from uh, the refinery and then we hook it up like that. and we click and see that it's highlighted so that's good and since we will be dropping off refined oil on the way back we need a station here as well uh, it won't we won't stop on the way down but we will stop on the way back so yeah I think that's good uh, let's add a road and connect connect this up and then we add if we hold shift we can fine tune it a little bit but yeah that's good and then we add a small road and we connect it. so since we we're gonna be driving a lot of trains here, probably six trains, so we definitely need to double track everything. And we also need to uh, see where the fuel is gone, so we can see that it's in the north. So let's add, help them build some roads here to make it easier for us to drop, drop off the, like that. And we can also do a little road down here. And we need a drop off point. So, will we? Yeah, we catch those on top there. So, I say we. Should we? Let's go put as close as possible there. And we need to pick up. So, let's see how far we can go. No, that's connected. So, let's do a couple of lines. So we have the one for the horses. We add a new line from 
down here and then we drop off there. So we will be running two thirds of the way with, no, actually three, three quarters of the way with loaded with full cars and then the last from Gothenburg West up to Gothenburg will be running empty trains. But that's, that's okay. Uh, yellow, we can change the color to some crude oil co color. Uh, so this is train freight, so we can call this Gothenburg crude slash oil. And this line is road freight and it's Gothenburg fuel. Do we have a nice colorful fuel? What is it? Is it orange ready? Well, something like that maybe. And we need some depot so we can add a couple of horses on the line. And we only have one to choose from. So let's, I say we start with six. And we add it to the Gothenburg fuel line. Like that, and then we add depot. And we only have one small tiny tray now, and I'm not sure if we should start with maybe six. That's we can buy two trains to start with, and we can take another loan. So, yeah. Let's start the two trains. We add them on the line and then we will tell them to just pick up full loads. And you can wait forever because this will be producing a lot of crude so they, they should never go empty. Uh, we can also do this on the horse line and that's because we will uh, we don't want to pay maintenance for them to to drive empty empty loads we can actually increase the maintenance level and set it to a little high so they we be in better condition when we do this we do the same on the train line like that and then we uh, we unleash the trains and we have already fuel on this one it's producing so we have room for 42 it will soon be full. And I say we borrow another five million so we can buy two more trains. We can actually buy fifth train let's do that we're producing a lot of crude so uh, just throw out as many train trains as possible and we will make money even faster so the train is going down and Let's take a ride. This uh, Transport TV2 is really, really beautiful with a Pacific environment. Islands, lovely beaches, guys. 
They've done a good job. And we are down at the oil refiner. So we will not wait for oil here. We just we just want to get back as soon as possible and pick up more more oil. So they are start producing and the next train is coming in and it has already produced 20 so now this train will be making money on its way back and we can see that it needs two crude to produce one refined oil so we will have full trains down here and then they will go half full up to the fuel refinery and then they will go empty the last bit and pick up more crude yeah it's a little bit waiting here in the beginning but uh, they will spread out and we will have trains go in full speed all the time and by full speed it's 45 miles per hour or 40 kilometers an hour actually. Uh, it's really, really really slow so this is our first train back and as you can see we have huge amounts of oil And when we are making some more money, we will, I think we will try and have six trains, maybe eight, I'm not sure. But if we have six trains with two locomotives and 10 to 12 cars uh, on each, then it will be accelerating pretty fast and we will have a good profit. Our, our is doing we have actually a bit so let's add should we start with two more that's a little bit auto save let's let's add two more well we have money to add a sixth train and I think we will do that see it's quite yeah we can we can uh, probably add two more trains so we have eight trains on this line uh, let's see how we are doing money wise yeah we're earning a little bit on the road freight and we earning a million now on the trains and this will probably go up pretty soon so uh, yeah let's let's just wait for a while and uh, so we we'll make some money and can start paying off our loans just passed our first year so we are in 1851 and I think we should add two more trains uh, we need to keep okay let's start with one 
then we have to wait a little bit and then we buy the final train so we can actually buy the last train so train number eight is on its way Doing. Now let's see how much we are actually delivering 90% of the fuel needed to Gothenburg. So I'm say we should set up a route up to Oslo so we can deliver even more. Let's see where Okay, so it's down here. That's really good, actually. Because then we won't need uh, some transport uh, on road. Hopefully we can just hook it up and reach... Yeah, it looks like we reach the full city there. And let's see if we can manage to... It's quite far, but if we are lucky, we can hook it up. Let's see, let's add a road connection there. Do we need a road connection there? Well, maybe. And... connection so we don't need it. is it uh, let's see yep you see it lights up so we got a connection there so let's add a line up to Oslo okay so go and there and around on the way back, fine with me. Um, this is fuel and it's sea freight and it's Oslo fuel. And we will pick, whoops, yeah, full and you will wait forever. And we need to. By shipyard and what kind of so you are doing 25 and capacity of 70 you are doing 22 capacity 90 I, I say we start with a small one and uh, see if we need to add a second one so are you going to, you are going to Oslo, we don't want that, so we turn you around and send you to here and hopefully you will be, so you see, start to level up already. And we can start by repaying a million. And is it still overflow here? Yeah, it's a sign here that says that some cargo is lost because the station is overloaded. So we need to make some more money so we can upgrade the trains. 
So how are our little see if we can click on the boat. There we go. Yeah, it got 13 fuel already. You're getting more fuel and you have leveled up. So that's good. Will that mean that yeah, you are on the first level already? And you are probably capacity 400 okay so we got around 2 million let's see how much it costs to upgrade train with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it's 1.9 so let's do that now you will carrying 84 let's see how well, it's pretty, pretty slow but it should should accelerate the same as one train with six cars, right? So, um, let's just wait and we will upgrade all the, all the trains. Let's see, should we... You are 34, okay. So let's, let's send you to Oslo. Let's do that. And you will go and then we set it back to full load. So, bye bye, deliver some fuel. And come back. And get some more. So, here is our super long train. so it's maybe we have too many trains on here since they are waiting for each other let's see maybe we might need to remove the train how are we doing otherwise well 1.4 yeah they are stacking up so I think are you already let's sell this off and we will upgrade the next train here Is it still okay? You're still waiting here, so set, let's sell another train. Not that long one. We sell the next one here. Uh, so bye bye. And we have another train. Let's upgrade this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Replace. So we can probably upgrade this pretty soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. And
So we have two more two trains left to upgrade and then we can just wait and see the money rolling. Uh, how are you doing? You're doing 43. Yeah, let's wait for a full load. Do the upgrade when they are going down so it's it's better to do it this last bit so they start with a full load and we can see that we are actually gone down from three barrels to two so so this is the yeah this should be upgraded get in there and we managed to upgrade this before one two three four well, and boom, just before it entered the station. Did you know that fast? Yes, you did. So now we have one more train to upgrade, and you have left. You are on your way over here with a full load. Should we do a little ride with the lovely boat in 25 kilometers per hour. So how much will we make on a full run let's find out yeah 380,000 okay it just loaded there so I have to wait until next turn when it goes back so let's pay another million so we don't want to pay a lot of money in interest so we would like to repay that as soon as possible. There's our train that needs to be upgraded. We need some more money before we can do that. We have 
played for is it three and a half years, four and a half, and uh, we only have one million to repay. And our ship is coming back, and there is a half float waiting. It's up to the second level now, producing over 200. And yeah, do we have full loads? Yes, we have. You will arrive. So you actually have to wait a little bit. So we could add another line. But since they don't need to wait all that long, I'd say we're good for now. But we could definitely add another line just to add a couple of more barrels there. Because this is doing maximum, it says maximum capacity now. And let's repay the final loan. We are now debt free. And we have money in the bank. And the money continues to roaring in. <laughs> it's three between three over three million and this is a really really good start we've been playing for four years we could if we want to add a log to plank to two line and then into Helsinki with tools and we could make even more money there and then just expand from here so uh, I hope you liked the tip uh, if you did please leave a like and maybe a subscription as well and I will see you next time bye bye